welcome to Pilates. I've got today, I was playing around with the idea of those Bosu balls. So I'm getting bored having no toys to play with. You guys know I love toys. And so home implements come in. And I was like, what is kind of like a Bosu ball? I'm around my house and I'm stepping on things. <laughs> I'm like trying to lay on them. And I found this. And I found that this big, thick throw cushion, it works. It works pretty, pretty darn well. BOSUs are great for so many things of like putting you off balance and making all of your stabilizers kick in. When we use it for our core, it gives us excessive mobility. So it takes you into an arch before you once again have to contract your core and bring your muscles in. So it lengthens the muscles a little bit more before you have to shorten them. So it's a little bit more work. Everything that I'm doing today, just like if you've taken my bar, my BOSU bar class, which you guys know I love, this is always optional. It's gonna take you off balance. I don't want you rolling your ankles. I don't want you throwing your back out. So if at any point you don't wanna use a pillow, then just do the exercises you normally would in Pilates. Pilates. Don't you dare on that Cadillac saw just open your arm out. Mm-mm, Pilates and then you rotate and I call that the saw don't I I meant side reach I learned all this stuff I spent over a full year memorizing all the names and terms and it's all gone now <laughs> anyways now that I've talked this long Oh, they're so cute. Hopefully you've had time to grab yourself a pillow. Let me see if I can get you off here so you can see my cats. I did my makeup today, yeah? Ooh, okay, you're off my tripod. Don't mind, my house is a disaster. Do you see them over here? Oh, this is Lenny. Lenny's been keeping company as I've been editing. So that orange one, oh my god. We just had to take him into the vet the other day because he broke off his canine tooth, which if you guys know about, hi Lurky, hi Franklin. My dog, um, Font also broke off his canine tooth. I think it was probably a year and a half ago at daycare. And this little orange guy, we, you know, we're just petting him the other day. And I was like, God, something looks weird in his mouth. And so I just like did like a little like whoop and opened it up. He's got, this isn't the side, the side he has this canine still. But um, opened up his little mouth and his canine is fully shredded off into his gums. Fully off. So we had to take him in. I'm gonna put you back up on my tripod. Um, and to the same surgeon who had to give our dog a, he got a cap. Because he, his canine, it goes all the way up. And so she was like, I really don't want to extract it. But apparently his has to be extracted. Like the full thing out. So, four grand. <laughs> our dog was insured. Our cats were not insured. We've had them... For 12 years, from my parents, we, from the farm. Yeah, I found a cat and then she ended up being pregnant and so we ended up keeping the babies and now they've traveled with us out here, but. So, pup's surgery, 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 was covered by insurance because when we got him, we got insurance on the dog, but we don't have insurance on Herc. So that's happening on May 1st. So he's all on like some sort of painkiller thing that caused is 
drowsiness. And so they just lay around all day. This just happened the other day. So he's been a little bit lethargic. Do you have a pillow yet? <laughs> Let's work out. Yes. Okay, y'all. So we're going to be starting with a normal Pilates warm up. So we're going to have our pelvic curl first. So you want to come and lie down, heels, sits bones distance apart, and the knees are in line with that as well. Relax your hands down by the side of your body. Allow the shoulder blades to come together and the collarbone to be nice and wide. Take another breath here. Really feeling the softness and the weight through the femurs, through your pelvis. One more inhale. Exhale, you're gonna scoop and curl. One vertebrae peels off the ground at a time. Inhaling at the top. And exhaling as you roll on down. Inhaling at the bottom. Exhale, scoop and curl and lift. Inhaling at the top. Exhaling as you roll on down. Inhaling at the bottom. So as you're moving through this, following your breath, making sure that we're feeling the weight even on both feet. And the pillow, it's gonna make us a little bit unstable. And so your body needs to fight to try to stay equal and even between both feet. And roll on down, one vertebrae at a time, really getting the spinal articulation involved. And then one last one here. And then rolling on down. Now that we're warmed up, we're gonna come into single leg work. If this doesn't work for you, please stay with double. But you're gonna bring your feet together Cross one leg up and over. Take an inhale here. And then curl. Making sure the weight's in that heel. Inhale at the top. And then curl on down. You exhale as you move. You inhale during the stillness. Exhale on your way down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, scoop and curl. Inhale at the top. Exhale, one vertebrae at a time down at the bottom. And then you're gonna switch legs. One leg down, one leg over. I'm gonna let the dog out. Yeah. Scoop and curl on your exhale. Inhaling at the top. Scoop and curl on your way down. And relax the bottom. Scoop and curl on your way. Inhale at the top. Articulate your way down. And come to the bottom. Exhale as you come on up. Inhale at the top. Exhale on your way down. And inhale at the bottom. Exhale, scoop, curl and lift. Inhale at the top. Exhale on your way down. Inhale at the bottom. Last one, scoop, curl and lift. Inhale at the top. Exhale on your way down. And relax at the bottom. You're gonna come on up, take that pillow, squeeze it in between your inner thighs. And we're gonna do pelvic lift here. So go ahead and lift your way up. And then we're gonna squeeze our knees together. So you're gonna smush the pillow. Smush, smush, smush. Core is engaged, glutes squeezed, shoulders open and relaxed. 
You squeeze, 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 squeeze. Four, three. We're gonna double time the squeeze. So you've got squeeze, 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 squeeze. Don't let the pelvis drop. Squeeze, 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 double time. Squeeze, 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 in, 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 four, three. Now you're gonna hold that squeeze. Hold, 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 do not move, keep it tight. Seven, six, five, pelvis high. Four, three, two, and lower yourself down. We're gonna going to come. We are going to come into our chest lift and our chest lift with rotation. So the pillow is gonna come behind us. Not yet underneath the pelvis. You just want it underneath the little back, the low back. From here, take your hands, interlace them, place them behind your head. Elbows stay in your peripheral. Inhale, on your way back, you'll notice you might have a little bit of an excessive arch here. What this allows you to do is as you nod your shoulder, head and chest, that you get to close that rib cage in. Inhale at the top. And then exhale as you lower on down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale on the way up. Nod the head, shoulders and chest, eyes between those inner thighs. Belly button pulled in, inhale hold. And exhale lower. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, nod. Shoulders, rib cage in towards the pelvis. Inhale, hold. Exhale on your way down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, nod your head, your shoulders, your chest. Rib cage pulls in. Now we're going to do little pulses here. So you're going to lift up and up. And up, and up, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, lower down, take an inhale, exhale, not head, shoulders, chest, take an inhale here, coming into our twist, you twist, inhale, center, twist, inhale, center. Exhale, twist. 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 Through center. Twist over to your first side, little pulses. Up. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay lifted. Make your way through center. I know you're burning over to the other side. We pulse up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Through center. Final 10 pulses. You got this. Up 10. Lift 9. 8. Try to come off that pillow. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. You can lengthen. Take a breath here. I hope you're warm. We are coming to standing. I'll meet you at the top. Okay, you guys. Bring that pillow with you. We are gonna be starting using this pillow as a weight. So if you've got a really heavy pillow, like this one's like super weighted and thick, whoo, we gotta be working those shoulders and that back. So take a few shoulder rolls here, up, back, and down. Take those feet right underneath those sits bones. Okay, dokie, we're gonna be starting with our chair. Tailbone pulls back, arms reach forward, and then come to standing. So weight in the heels, light on the toes, Core pulled in tight, no excessive arching through the low back. You chair and lift and lift. Now the arms are gonna go overhead and up. 
chair and up chair and up chair now we're going to start to incorporate balance so you're going to go chair and then you're going to lift your right knee to tap the pillow and then chair and then the other knee chair and tap chair and tap four tap three tap two tap we're going to incorporate a twist so it's chair twist over the leg chair twist over the leg chair twist over chair now those arms stay out out and twist out and twist out and twist out take out the chair you twist and twist and twist and twist eight seven six five four three two and one now that we found our core warmed up those legs a little bit we're going to be finding our balance on one leg taking the pillow out and we're going to tap it to the ground pick it back up and then we're going to tap it over to the side and pick it back up and then tap it to the other side and up so you want to bend your standing leg to get yourself down core has to stay in tight as you twist and lift tap and center over the leg and center open it up and center we're gonna do it one last time this time take the pillow up overhead Find your core, your balance there, tap, and lift, and then other side, tap, and lift. You can shake it out if you'd like. We're going to be moving on to that second leg. You can start your timing here. Taps and lifts over that standing leg, and then away from the standing leg. Tap. And lift, tap, and lift, tap, and lift. Again, tap, and lift, tap, ooh, and lift, tap. On this one, we're going fully overhead. Tap, lift overhead. And tap, lift, overhead. Now the pillow gets to come to the ground. And just like the BOSU, we're gonna come and stand on it. This is where I would say, if your ankles feel super unsturdy, if your pillow is super, super stiff, and you're up there, maybe find a smaller pillow, and make it a lot easier, something that has a little bit more to give to it, or come off the pillow altogether. We're gonna be bringing that right leg up first, left leg behind us. I like mine right in the center of my pillow. Hands on the hips to make sure the hips are square. You're gonna start with your lunge and then you can tap that foot up onto the pillow or lift it up into the sky and into that passe or knee. So it's lunge and passe or lunge and tap. Eight and up, seven and up, six and up, Five and up, four and up, three and up, two. Now you know I love my pulses, so we're gonna be taking it down into the lunge for three. Down three, two, one, and lift only four of these. Three, two, one, and lift two more. Three, two, one, and lift. Down three, two, one, lift, hold, find your balance. We're gonna be tapping, three point tap. You bend that standing leg, tap the toe out to the ground in front of your pillow, bend and tap it to the side, and then bend and tap it to the back, as far as that toe can reach away. Front and lift, side and lift, 
back and lift. You've got bend and lift, sigh and lift, back and lift, front and lift, side and lift, back. Last one, you've got front and lift, side and lift, back and lift. Take a little shake off. We'll be coming to the other side, left leg up. Right leg back, hands on hips, make sure those hips are square. You find that lunge and you find your balance or you find your lunge and you find your tap. It's down and up, seven and up, six, five, four, whoo, three, two, one, you pulse it down, down three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, only two more times. Three, two, one, and lift, you're down. Three, two, one, hold it up. You gotta find your three point taps. You tap the leg forward, and lift, Sa and lift, back, and lift. We did five on the other side. We'll do five on this side. Three more, tap, and lift, tap, and lift, tap. Last two, tap, and lift, tap, and lift, tap. Last one, tap. Lift, tap, lift, tap, and lift. Give them a shake out. We'll be coming on down onto that pillow. I'm gonna come sideways here. Hands are gonna be, I like to take mine to the outside of the pillow. We're doing push-ups. So you can drop the knees if you'd like. We're only gonna be doing 10 of these. So finding your version, you're gonna tap your chest down to the pillow and lift, Not. Eight, seven, six, five, four, you've got this, three, only two more. Last one, drop the knees, come down onto your elbows, tuck the toes underneath you, a little bit of a beast modified tabletop here, engage your core, Toes are tucked, just hover the knees off the ground. You're gonna be stepping one leg out and the other, stepping it back in, switch sides. You lead with the left, and then you lead with the right. Lead with the left, and with the right. With the left, and with the right. You got your last two, lead with the left, and with the right. Drop the knees down. I'm gonna start facing you. I don't care which side you're on. You'll do one side and then the other. If you need modification, you bend the bottom leg. If you'd like the full one, you can either stack your legs or take the top leg a little bit in front of the bottom. Pillow is making this unstable for your shoulder. Do what you need. Here we go. You lift up into your side plank, reach up and over, tap the ground, up and lower. Lift, tap, center, lower. Lift, tap, center, lower. Lift, tap, center, lower. Lift, tap, center, switch sides, up and over. Be facing away. Find your level, here we go. We lift, tap, center, and lower. Lift, tap, center, and lower. Lift, reach, center, and lower. Lift, reach, center, and lower. Lift, 
reach, center, and lower. Last one, lift, reach, center, and lower. Hydrant. We're gonna be balancing the pillow on our thigh. So, try to angle myself here. You're gonna be down on the ground. Your leg's gonna be bent up in a hydrant, 90 degree angle, right? And the pillow is ideally, if you can get it, sitting on top of that leg. I like to come on the opposite elbow of the leg that's in the sky. From here, you obviously can't ever drop that knee or else you're gonna lose your pillow. So engage your core, get yourself set up. We're gonna be taking it front and back. So it's like a little crunch. Crunch the knee into the armpit and swing the leg back. Crunch and back. Crunch and back. Four more. Use your core. Four and back. Three and back. Two and back. One. Hold it back. You pulse it up. Three. Up two. Up one. Crunch in. Up three. Up two. Up one. Crunch in. Up three. Up two. Up one, crunch in. Up three, up two. Up one, crunch in. You're up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna crunch it in, pulse it up for eight, seven, final six, final five, four, three, two, and one. Give me a little shake out. Ready for the other side. Making that tabletop with your leg. Getting that pillow balanced. Ooh, it feels a little precarious on this side already. Opposite elbows down. So the leg that has the pillow is the same arm that's gonna be straight down on the ground. It gives you just a little bit more of an open angle of your hips. So from here, you're gonna start with your crunch and your open. Crunch and open. Crunch and open. Core work and open. In and back. In. Pulse it up. You're up three, up two, up one. Crunch it in. You're back for three. For two, for one, crunch it in. You're back for three, for two, for one, crunch it in. You're back for three, for two, for one, crunch it in. You're back up eight, seven, six, five, core engaged, four, use the glutes, three, Two, now you know you gotta bring it forward. Pulse it up for eight. It's burning. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh, one. Almost lost the pillow on the last one. Pass the pillow. We get to come to our core. Leave those glutes alone a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna pass that pillow. We're gonna play a game with ourselves. <laughs> I ain't got no friends. <laughs> Play Pilates games. Okay, so core nice and tight, rib cage locked in, tabletop one leg and then the other. You want to hold the pillow down at the bottom of the pillow and you're going to be taking an inhale. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, tap your arms back down to the ground. Exhale, lift. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and place, inhale, and grab, inhale, and place, inhale, and grab, inhale, and place, inhale, and grab. Now we're gonna lengthen our legs, inhale, and pass, Inhale, and grab. In, and out. In, 
and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, reach it long and in. Take the pillow, place it in between your calves, your feet, interlace your hands behind your head, or if you need a modification, you place them underneath your sacrum. I'm gonna be coming into a chest lift. So interlace your hands, place them behind your head, take an inhale here, exhale, lift. We have eight leg lifts, y'all. Eight, and lift, seven, and lift, six, and up, squeeze those inner thighs, five, and up, four, and up, keep that chest lifted, three, and up, two, and up, one, and lift, release that pillow down, you'll come to seated, and we've got our twist. Feet can stay on the ground, or you can lift and find your balance. Here you're taking the pillow, you're tapping it from side to side. Side to side, and side to side. Keep the core tight, keep the shoulders down. Twist and twist, twist and twist, twist. Only a few of them today, you've got eight. Seven, six, five, open chest, four, three, two, and one. You can take a little bit of a stretch, a sip of water. We'll be bringing the pillow underneath us. So, pillow's coming underneath us now, and it's like if on the BOSU, the black part was on the bottom and the blue part's now on top, and we're going to be laying up and over it. What that means is the closer you are to the ground, the easier everything's gonna be. So as I guide you through this, if you wanna bring your pelvis to the ground at any point or take the pillow away, once again, honor your body. We're gonna be coming to the edge of this pillow here to start with. Sitting up nice and tall, take a few roll of those shoulders. Nice open chest, re-oxygenated the body here, reach those arms out. And then I want you to curl down one vertebrae at a time, starting from the bottom. You'll feel your low back hit. You actually, if you've got the right size pillow, feel nice and supported here. From here, you're gonna roll your way up one vertebrae at a time. Lift up at the top, sunrise arms. Roll it down. Roll it up. Sunrise arms. So this is for you. This is where you can stay. If you're ready for it, as you roll down, take a full arch, tap the ground up, up and overhead. Reinitiate the arms first to over shoulders, roll up and sunrise arms. Roll down and tap. Initiate first with the arms and all the way through. Back and tap. Arms, head follows up and around. You're down. Tap it back. Arms, eyes follow up and around. Down, tap back. Arms, eyes follow up and around. Take yourself down, low back touches the ground here. And then you're just gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Scoop out the core. Pull it in. Exhale as you engage. Reach. Shoulders down, eyes guide you, so don't look up into the sky, look forward. And up, and up, and up, and down, up. Hold here, you've got right and lower, left and lower, right and lower, left and lower, right and lower, engage and lower, Right and lower, left, lower, sit up, re-engage. I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. Arms behind the head is harder. Arms reaching down to your ankles is easier. Roll your way down. Here you go, you got right 
and down, left and down. So the reason hands behind your head is harder is because it's raising your center of gravity and the weight that your core has to hold up off this pillow is a lot more. Right and lower, left and lower, scoop, scoop, right and lower, left. Sit all the way up, and lift and down. I'm gonna be scooching myself back. I like to think it's about, not, ha not yet halfway. Just a little bit away from the ground here. Walk those feet in. Let's sit up nice and tall here to begin with. Inhale, scoop the core, bring yourself down. So I'm kind of hanging off the back of this pillow here. I'm gonna be tapping my right ankle and my left. Side to side. Right and left. Getting those obliques and left. Right and left. Right and left, right and left. I want eight more. Yes, you do too. You've got eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two and one. Roll all the way up. Big center as arms. We're coming halfway on that pillow. Good news, we're halfway on this pillow, but we're way over halfway in this class, guys. We are almost done, so hang in there with me. From here, hands can come behind if you need a little bit of balance. If you can, arms stay forward in front of you, shoulders roll back, engage your core as you hinge. We're going to be lifting those legs up into a teaser position and then tapping the toes. Lift and tap. Lift and tap, lift and tap. This is just our warm up. So lift those arms up and tap, lift and tap, lift and tap, lift and hold. This is where things get hard, bend your knees if you're neat. You got right and lift, left and lift, right and lift, left and lift, down and up. Left and up, down and up. Last thing here, you twist. You twist towards the leg that's at the top and away from the leg that's heading down to the ground. You've got four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, one, and done. Oh, it happened short, y'all. So we're gonna be coming down onto the side body, onto the elbow. Top legs behind us. We're gonna be taking big ol' inner thigh, lift and drop, lift and drop. So I want you to think that your heel is lifting towards the sky and that you're trying to tap that bottom inner thigh to your top inner thigh. Keep pressing away from the ground so that we're not just sinking and relaxing. Lift and lift and lift. Now, hand comes behind the head. You're going to lift the leg and then you're going to drive your knee to your elbow. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. Core in. You lift and twist. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. Lift. You pulse it up for three. You're up at three, a two, a one. Twist it in, out, three, two, so it doesn't drop. Bring it in, out, three, two, one. Bring it in, out, three, two, one. Bring it in, out, eight, six, five, four, three. You're gonna hold it up, don't let it drop for eight. Reach seven, six, lift higher, five, Four, three, two, and one. Coming through center, it's a tuck with a hip circle. So, tuck, and then a big hip circle. Tuck, hip circle. Tuck, and circle. Tuck, only a few of these, y'all. Circle, four, and circle, three, 
circle. Two. Circle. Last one. One. And circle. Oh, I totally collapsed on that last one. I didn't even finish it. You're coming up and over. Other side. My pillow's getting sweaty. <laughs> oh. From here. Down on that pose. Down on that opposite elbow. Top legs behind us. Bottom legs down on the ground. You're gonna lift and lower. So get the inner thigh to try to tap inner thigh. Nice long leg. Beautiful line. Keeping that shoulder, roll down and back as you squeeze it up. Core pulled in tight, lift. So this one, I really like a lot of people who have uh, hip replacements. Hi, people with hip replacements. It's uncomfortable to lie on the side of your body. Stick a pillow underneath you. It's a beautiful thing. Three, two, Bring the hand behind the head. So you lift and lower and then crunch. Lift and lower and crunch. Lift, lower, core engaged. Lift, lower, twist. Lift, lower, twist. Lift, lower. You get to pulse it up. Three, two, don't let it drop. You bring it in. Up three, two, one, bring it in, up three, two, one, and twist, down three, two, one, and in, out three, two, one, and in, out three, two, one, you're out, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, you're gonna hold it up in the sky, hold eight, seven, reach six, Five, higher, four, three, higher, two, and one. You have got your last exercise, and then you're done with me. I, Y, and T. So you're gonna be coming down onto your belly. I like to keep chest, belly supported, and then engage your quads, reach your legs away so that they're actually gonna be up and off the ground too, everything through the bottom part of your body is activated. Hands come up overhead, pinkies to the ground, thumbs are going to be up towards the sky, and we're going to lift for eight, and seven, six, and five, four, and three, two, and you're going to take it out into your Y, pulse up eight, and seven, six, and five, four, and three, long arms, two, thumbs to the sky out in your teeth. You've got up eight, and seven, six, and five, four, and three, two, keep them lifted. Don't let them touch the ground. It goes overhead and to the pelvis, overhead and pelvis. Overhead and pelvis, keep them lifted overhead and pelvis. Four more, four long legs, pelvis. Three engaged core, pelvis. Two reach pelvis. One reach pelvis. You go backwards from T up eight, put pinkies up seven, six, five, four, three. You pulse the back of the hands to the sky on your Y. Eight, seven, six, you're almost there. Five, four, three. You come into your I back of the hands to the sky for eight, seven, six, five, final, four, three, two, and one. Take yourself back, child's pose position. Let your back rest, let your arms rest. Three deep breaths here. Big full inhale. And complete exhale. 
One more breath. That's it, guys. Excellent job. Way to make it to your mat today. Put a little work in for yourself. They are blacked out for half of that, so. 